Hi, pal there. Good day. Who do I have on the line? <laughs> you have Tim Decay. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us here live in Dallas, Texas. D uh, it's my pleasure. I'm excited to be live in Dallas, Texas. Well, thank you so very much for being here. What are we going to talk about today? I, I, I just love uh, the holidays. I get so many uh, great guests. What are we talking about? We're going to talk about uh, White Collar, a TV show on USA Network. That's right. My producer told me he just loves White Collar. Okay. Well, I love your producer. I think your producer has great taste. White Collar is a, is a TV show that's on USA. It's about the unlikely pairing of an ex-con played by Matt Bomer and an FBI agent played by me, Tim Decay. And together we solve white collar crimes. Let me ask you, when I watch uh, Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo DiCaprio, and I'm just bringing that up, I had mm -hmm. never seen a criminal paired with law enforcement. It makes sense. Do they really do this? You know what? It, you you hit it right on the nose, Valder. Um, because this is so it's loosely based on this and a couple of other kind of movies and stories. Yeah, they really do it. They're called CIs. They're criminal informants. And I was paired with a real FBI agent, and he would tell me about his criminal informant and the relationship that he had with this guy. That's so interesting to me, but I, I believe you go to an expert when you want to know how to do something, so I guess the police believe that also. That's right. That's right. And we, and then in addition to that, we went to an expert for Neil's, or Matt Bomer's character, Neil, we went to an expert who was an ex-pickpocket, an ex-criminal, and would talk to him about, you know, how he conned people. When you say white collar, we're talking about a different kind of crime. Is that what we're saying? Is that why it's called white collar? It is called white collar because it, it, it's, it's an expensive crime. It's a theft of, for our show, it's, there are bonds sometimes stolen, paintings stolen, sculptures stolen, things of that nature. It's, uh, and for the most part, our show does not, has very little violence. It's much more like uh, To Catch a Thief or The Thomas Crown Affair, or something like that. Oh, I like that. Little violence. Oh, I'm going to have to be a watcher then. Okay, well, you've only got six more episodes to watch. But you know what you could do? You could go back to Netflix or you could get the episodes on DVD. Our fifth season just came out. All right, then. Well, you know, there's so many places for people to be successful now. Let me ask you. Did you think that you would be doing this this many seasons? That's a great question. No, but, you know, I don't, I try not to think about that at all. I try not to think that I'll do X amount of seasons. I knew that it was a great pilot. I knew that Jeff Easton had written a wonderful script about a, a wonderful relationship. The, in the end, this show is not about the, the crimes or the capers, but it's about the relationships. And as an actor, that intrigued me, and I found that interesting and, and uh, challenging and wonderful to play. So th the fact that we have gone 81 episodes was, has just been a gift. When you do um, uh, uh, television or cable, do you get to do other projects also, too, or you're just too overscheduled? I, d I do get to do other projects. I get to do some, <clears throat> I got to direct a film uh, over the break uh, in between because we filmed for about six months. I sometimes go and do another TV show as a guest star or something like that, or I go get to do a movie. I get to do some theater. I also get to be a dad and a husband because I live in Los Angeles and, my, and we film in New York, so <clears throat> I don't get to see my family a lot when we're filming. That was good. That'll be my final question. How do you balance it? You know, we don't talk to guys about how do you balance life. We talk to women about that. But how do you balance it? Because dads now are different than when I grew up. My dad worked. I never saw him. He was in the military. We never saw him. You know, it, it's difficult. It, it's, uh, you're quite right that, that t today the dad pl takes on a different role for a number of reasons. I think one, because we know more about what our role can be or could be, so we want to be a little more present or a lot more present depending on how much we work. So I flew back and forth a lot 
uh, when we were filming. Uh, for, for five months, I would fly back and forth from New York to L.A. nearly every weekend. Um, and then in August, my family would join me in New York. But it's a constant balance. And then the other thing is you have to, you have to still be a husband. So I'd fly back on the weekends, and you know, my wife would pick me up in the minivan, and we'd head to some baseball game or my daughter's volleyball game or my, my son's baseball game. And then that Saturday night, I would maybe want to just <laughs> fall asleep and hit, hit the couch or the bed and just fall asleep. But, you know, you also needed a date night. You needed to go out and, and you know, connect with your wife. So it's full. It's rich. Well, hooray for you. You got a career and you got a great family life. I love it when people find balance. Tim Decay Prime. on the USA Network's White Collar. Uh, when do you want us to watch season six? Season six, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 Central. Uh, it's on USA Network Thursdays at 9. Check us out. I wish the best to you and your family over the holidays. I hope you have much. You as well. Happy holidays.